living structured soil, the world's most valuable resource. Hi, I'm John Morris, owner and founder of AgriCentrals. AgriCentrals have pioneered New Zealand volcanic rock as a fertiliser blended with fish, seaweed and other natural ingredients, culminating in a fertiliser that is full of life, minerals and paramagnetic energy. Life begins and ends in the soil. AgriCentrals Welcome back, and now we're into a place you can make a bit of dust, a bit of sawdust, and everything. Sharon, tell me about this machine. Where did where did that one this one come from? Uh, this was also made overseas. The um, we actually had this one specially built for us. Most of them are about this high, which is really high to to like big boards and and timber slabs onto. Um, so we've made this one actually a lower bed so that we can watch it when it's working and it's not so hard for me to lift things onto it. This base plate here is just a, a protector plate so we don't carve through into the, into the bed. Yep. It's, it works on a, a suction so we put our ACM panels on, the machine over there is a vacuum pump. Right. And we turn that on and it just sucks it mm. down to the bed. Um, and then of course you know we've already brought our pen drive over plugged it in and and this thing comes back and forward and that goes over and back so it, it's it's just constantly moving all the time cutting out all the bits and pieces um, we have the extraction system mm -hmm. so that as much of the dust as possible goes into a, a tin over right, in that yeah, shed yeah. and and where those systems are I've actually built them inside little rooms so that we can soundproof them mm. I actually put soundproof bats in the walls because obviously we do operate from uh, a, a yeah, residential. You know, residential area yeah, yeah. and we didn't want to break any rules no. I brought myself a decibel reader so I can just make sure that we're within the sound yeah. requirements for yeah. in town and mm. we're all good to go um, so yeah, obviously we do make dust and something like this can't be in with the printers and our other shed. Um, but it's a big piece of kit and the reason we brought it was because we do think outside the square. Yeah. We don't limit ourselves to sign writing. Right. So like I said, you know, we've done the helicopter on it. Uh, we do our art shapes, fancy panels, like, you know, mm. big fretwork panels. Uh, anything that people can come up with. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I imagine, you know, someone could just about come in with a tabletop or something. You want to put a fancy etching yeah. around and imitate it. Now, what sort of depth or thickness can you go to on this machine? Well, that depends on the blades. We've actually, because we lowered the machine itself, mm. we actually got a, a more depth in here. So right. we can go up to like, I think it was 280 mils. Gosh. of depth of you know the product that goes in here which is more if anything it's polystyrene that gets to that depth not, yes not yeah unless you're anything. putting a big log or something in to yeah. make do a bit of pattern yep yep so uh, we've cut out the ITM man I like I like the ITM man oh, so right. I, I kept uh, a little sample yes. for myself so that was cut out on the machine but the print was done over oh, right. on the printers yes. and, and they're cut to exactly the same size, so then we just overlay the print and onto the cutout I board. I see, you don't put the print down and then cut no, out around. It's no, no, a lot the way. of the new machines can now as mm. well because they're connected to the printers. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, there's all sorts of different ways you can do it, but this is the way that, that our machine does yeah. it. Uh, it has a tool changer at the front. Mm -hmm. So that if you're doing a job that has a whole lot of different tools, we can put all the tools in there, pre-program it, and the machine oh, will go oh. and change its tool and then carry yeah. on doing oh, the job. So it would do all its bits with one tool on, on a whole slab, yep. then go up, click, and then go and do yes. Yeah. Well, that's, that, that is amazing because mm. it takes out the supervision of them so so much. Doesn't yes, it? it does. And we've got a video camera up on the roof, which mm. is a live feed to a TV screen over in the workshop so that if this is running and we, we don't have the time to be checking on it or mm. we don't need to check on yep. it, then we just turn the camera on in the shed and we can just keep an eye on oh, it while okay. we're working over there. Well, that's, that's amazing monitoring mm. because I imagine quite a lot of the materials you're using are not cheap and you don't want anything to go wrong. And <laughs> no, and the blades aren't cheap. So, of course, you know, you break a little carving blade or something and, and you know, there's a lot of money yeah. gone in the job. Um, so, yeah. yeah. No, well, that was a great machine and uh, all sorts of potentials there. But in the meantime, the sun has come <laughs> out 
And let's go along and have a look at your art gallery. Cool. Yeah, uh, very effective the, panels. Are these part of what you've done on the... Yeah, they are. So that's a fretwork panel for the outside of the house, just flipped over and done in reverse, and, and all our gates have got that in it to make it look cool. Just that little bit. Yeah. yeah. Now here we come into the range of possibilities from some of your prints there. They love your windows there with the, um, with the view behind. It's just about totally real. Yeah, it's all about recycling. You know, I try and get old products and, and uh, upmarket them a bit and, and do a thing. And, and of course, you know, if you've got a nice scenery shot and you're looking out a window at mm. it, then put it in a window. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So these windows here that I've used were from an old railway hut that yeah. the, the guys used to sleep in when they were out on the trains. So I've recycled those. Um, this is a new area we made, as I said before, my gallery gets bigger and bigger and I run out of space so we mm. brought the neighbours so I yes. can have more fence and uh, we've done this new area which I'm still slowly developing. So um, we had to rip out a whole lot of trees so I quickly just did a bark garden to cover uh, up the dirt in time for the Fringe mm. Festival. Um, but it is a good way of displaying the different bits of artwork as in, in a garden because yeah. I don't have a garden because I don't have time to weed. No, no. So you, yeah. you, but you've got some absolutely beautiful little bits, you know, and mm. I recognise you mentioned Donna's garden yes. and that little piece photo yep. from there. Mm. Yeah, yep. uh, Stanley Gardens is, is just absolutely beautiful and you can get a lot of nice photos from there. <laughs> yeah, it's great. Yeah. But shape, you know, I know we've got the corrugated iron obviously mm. and are we allowed to ask you how you do that? You can ask, I'm just not going to tell you. You know, I can show you a piece of iron and I can show you a print, but I'm not showing you how I put it together. <laughs> Disappointed. But anyway, I see a big old milk can in the corner yeah. there. Have potential of someone, if you're going to put onto a surface like that, what sort of preparation? Oh, yeah, well, because it's all rusty and that, you, it's not really going to stick to anything with rust. It still mm. has to be a nice surface to, to put something yep. onto. Uh, and I do a lot of cleaning of the iron before mm. I put the prints on yep. it. Um, the the um, milk can is, is from Ian Harrison's auction the other week. Oh, gosh. Um, family, friends, my parents we were way back, so I needed a, a bit of nostalgia, which yes. I thought would just be great to put into my garden. Yeah. Yep. And of course, Ian Harrison was one of those most amazing collectors of vintage yep. machinery. And in our fellow show, you will have met him a number of times. Yes, and um, my mum started the Antique and Collectors Club in Stratford, which he was a, a member yeah. of as well. So yeah. he did a lot more collecting than <laughs> mum did. <laughs> it's amazing, wasn't it? Just how those couple of sheds yep. expanded out into the whole paddock. Yeah, and uh, yeah, I mean, you know, again, you, you need more space and more space. You never have enough space. No. Yep. No. Well, let's go and have a look at one or two of these pieces on the wall because yep. I can see over there the, uh, the special bridge that we talked about a yes. moment ago. <laughs> yep. AgriCentral's fertilisers increase topsoil depth, carbon content, fertility, water retention, soil drainage, soil biology, minerals and improve plant and animal and human health. AgriCentral, makers of the best fertilisers on and for the earth. New Zealand farmers, the choice is yours. Agri-Centrals. <laughs> <laughs>